Now you saw in a previous video in chapter one that when you perform calculations, simple calculations using single values, you can use the standard commands such as multiply, which is the asterisk symbol, and divide, which is the backslash symbol, and obviously to put something to the power of, you use the caret symbol, shift six. Now since the technology underlying MATLAB deals with matrices, simply using these same commands with vectors and matrices may not produce the results you expect. And that's because MATLAB will be doing matrix calculations, which are slightly different to, um, to non-matrix calculations. And we'll be covering that content later on in this, in this module as part of a maths lecture. At this stage, we're not interested in, in matrix multiplication, uh, inversion and so on. And this will be covered later on. Um, but what we are interested in, though, is, is, though, is element by element um, multiplication, division, and exponentiation, where individual elements of vectors are multiplied or divided by individual elements of other vectors. Now, to do this in MATLAB, we introduce some commands. And these are dot times, okay, dot divided by. Or dot um, backslash to time divided by and dot caret for the exponentiation element by element exponentiation. Okay, we're going to define a couple of vectors a equals one, two, three, and four. Okay, and we'll go b five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And we wish to multiply the elements together so that we end up with one vector containing c, which is 1 times 5, 2 times 6, 3 times 7, and 4 times 8. And to do that, we write c equals um, a dot times b. Okay? And notice we get 5 times 1, which is 5, 2 times 6, which is 12, 3 times 7, which is 21, and 4 times 8, which is 32. Now if I did a times b, what do you think might happen? We actually get an error because we've, we're trying to multiply two row vectors together, okay? And it suggests actually down here to perform element-wise multiplication, use dot times. Now to divide, we could do the same thing. So you can say d equals a a dot divided by b, and that'll do the same thing. It'll do the division. So d should be um, the first element should be one divided by five. And then we've got 2 divided by 6, 3 divided by 7, and 4 divided by 8. Now, you've got to be careful when you're doing these sorts of things, because they, you may end up actually getting real values when you do a multiplication or division, but they won't necessarily be what you the values you actually want, because sometimes things will work in the way that the things are multiplied together. Now, to do the same sort of thing with the exponentiation, you could do the same thing. So we're going to e equals a to the power of 2. So that's going to square, you take each value and square them. So we should get 1, 4, 9, and 16 as our values. And that is indeed what we get. So, yeah, that's important that you uh, remember that dot. Okay. Now, if you want to multiply something by a scalar, it's very straightforward. You create your vector, which is the same thing. So we will f 0 to 5, say. That's going to be a row vector from 0 to 5. And if I did um, g equals 3, OK, and I did, um, we've got a new thing, f times g, obviously that takes each value and multiplies it by 3. And that is the same if I did that as well. 